welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be filling in my January currently page. I didn't actually end up posting the plan with me for this one. It kind of didn't go as planned. As you can see, it's not on an actual currently page. It's on some filler paper because I had some obstacles when making this so I had to start over elsewhere. So I didn't post the video but I have it here so I'm ready to fill it out for the month of January. I'm going to take it off of the discs. So these are the pens I'm going to be using to fill it in. I'm using a gray Zebra Click Art pen, a Tombow dual-sided brush pen, and then a Papermate Flare pen in a medium tip. So I'm going to use those three. Um, because I didn't film the plan with me of this, I didn't get an opportunity to ask you what you think my categories should be for down here. I went ahead and picked ones that I thought were seasonally appropriate for January and someone was nice enough to comment one on my December after the pen one, so I'm going to use that as well. I'm going to start with the goals section. I do have my goals written down, I just wanted to do this all at once, so I didn't actually write them on the page yet. But my January goals are eat healthier, more self-care, set up a doctor's appointment because I've been pushing that off through this whole pandemic, and finally be proactive about like responding to emails and asking for the things that I need school-wise. So those are my four goals. I'm going to go ahead and write those down. Okay, so I wrote those in. I did the keywords in cursive and then the rest of them in print. I would say for the most part, I achieved these goals. Um, so I did set up a doctor's appointment and I already had that. More self-care, I've been definitely taking more time for myself and with my planners and just kind of doing the things that I want to do. Being proactive, I've been really on top of emailing people to figure out all of the administrative hoops to get like independent studies set up and all that fun stuff. So I've been good at that. Eating healthier, a little iffy on that. It's difficult because I am back in my own apartment and my boyfriend isn't doing the cooking anymore. I've been trying to work on the whole meal prep thing, but that kind of turned into me having tacos for the last six nights. So I'm not sure if I'm eating healthier, but I am cooking rather than ordering food from restaurants or making a box of mac and cheese every night. So in that respect, we're kind of winning there. I guess eating healthier can kind of continue over into February. Now I'm going to do this section down here. So the first one I want to do is studying because I'm back in classes again. I'm going to write it using the click art pen and I'm going to kind of arch it around the circle. That didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to. So pretty happy with that. I also love how clicky those pens are. Before I fill in what I'm studying, I do want to make a little announcement. I just hit 500 followers, like literally two minutes before I started filming this video. And since this is the first one that's going to be up during the week, I'm just going to discuss it here. So I will be having some sort of giveaway for hitting 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And it's going to be something that's exclusive to YouTube. I'm not going to cross post it onto Instagram. I might promote it over there, but in the end, it's only going to be through my YouTube channel. I'm playing around with some ideas of what I actually want to give away. I am a little strapped for cash at the moment. You know, the whole grad student and beginning of the semester, you got to pay tuition and all that fun stuff. So I'm trying to figure out something that's not going to break my budget, but people will actually want. So I have some things that I could like de-stash because I've been kind of looking to pare down my planner collection a little bit. I was also thinking about maybe doing a plan with me video where I get a sticker book and then plan three different spreads with it to kind of show you guys how versatile a certain sticker book can be. And then like basically just giving away those three spreads to three different people. And with the spreads you'd receive like some dish stash items as well. But I don't know if you actually want planner spreads from me. So please tell me if I'm like far off base here. So that's another idea I had. Third idea is like maybe pairing with someone to do a giveaway. I don't know how the details of that would work out, but I'm playing around with some ideas. 
So I'm hoping to have the giveaway posted probably at the beginning of next week. I know it's not going to be right when I hit 500 followers because I already hit, I keep saying followers, I feel like I'm on Instagram. It's not going to be right when I hit the 500 subscribers because that already happened. So I'm not posting the video right now because I haven't figured out what I'm doing. But it's coming soon, so I just wanted to give you a heads up to keep an eye out for that. And now back to what I've been studying. I'm taking two classes this semester. One of them is about collection practices, particularly in the early modern, like Baroque Renaissance time period. So thinking about like how people exchange coins and stuff like that. And then the other class I'm taking is on material culture. So I was thinking I would just put those two things under studying. So collection practices and material culture. I'm going to go ahead and do that. This isn't my first time taking a material culture class. I actually took one like a year and a half ago, but they're with different instructors. So it's kind of nice to see how different instructors teach the same kind of course. And obviously the readings are different and that kind of thing. And that's a difference in instruction, like what one professor deems important about material culture, another may not. So I am getting a different experience, but I'm thinking more on this topic of material culture and how we interact with materials, especially when it comes to art. Let's fill in another circle. So Patricia commented on one of my videos, what I'm looking forward to in 2021. And I can't tell if it was supposed to be just like a comment or if she was actually suggesting it for one of these videos. I'm taking it for one of these videos. So thank you, Patricia. Um, so it was what I'm most excited for in 2021. That's a lot of words for one of these circles. I'm actually going to go with just excited for and the in 2021 will be implied. So I'm going to write that one in this bigger circle just so I have some more writing space. So I've mentioned in previous videos that I've been kind of looking into getting a bigger apartment with a second bedroom that I can kind of use as my planner space slash office. I would really just like to compartmentalize my life a little bit more after this whole like staying at home so much because my current apartment is a very open floor plan, which isn't inherently bad, but I feel like I study and plan and sleep and eat and watch TV and do everything else in the same room. So I'm looking into two bedroom apartments and I actually filled out an application for one um, a couple days ago and I'm super excited about that. I'm hoping it gets accepted. It's through my same landlords and they were like, we'd love to have you as a tenant still. You're, you're great. So we wanna keep you around. So I have a feeling it's gonna go through. I can't like say for sure it's gonna go through, but I did fill out the application for a two bedroom and it would have in-unit washer and dryer and a dishwasher and it's a quarter unit. It's not pet friendly, which is something that I kind of wanted, but you know, I don't know if I'm ready to take care of a dog right now. So two bedrooms, super excited. I was thinking like new apartment, but I don't actually have the apartment yet. So I'm just gonna write like new apartment application. So that's filled in. Let's move to another circle. I'm gonna go with rose gold foiled. And this one's gonna be for planning. I'm gonna do the writing over here. And if everything goes according to plan with this video, you would have already seen it. I'm gonna try to do this as like a sped up with music over it when I'm writing. Normally I just kind of like cut the writing process out, but I thought it could be fun to include that in this video. And my brand new plum paper planner came in January. It technically starts the 1st of February, but I have been doing daily planning outside of that. I've been using the Happy Planner inserts. So I want to put daily planning as my planning bubble. Having a daily planner has really changed my planning game. And you know, it makes me want to change the lineup like all together and just like combine a bunch of things. I'm going to give it a while before I make a decision on that. I'm loving the daily planner. 
it's like the perfect place for a checklist, like brain dump kind of thing, because I feel guilty like having kind of minuscule tasks in my catch-all where it's like, check the mail. Like that kind of thing doesn't need to be in the catch-all, but I don't feel bad having it in a daily planner. It's also nice to be able to like block out my schedule every day, just kind of glance at it, add to it as needed. The catch-all is more of a like sit on the desk kind of like week at a glance overview, whereas the daily planner is more of like an hour by hour breakdown of what I'm doing every single day that week and what needs to be done and what my priorities are and all that fun stuff. So daily planning definitely has my heart right now. I hope it's not like something that comes and goes. I'm really hoping to stick with it, but I got a six month planner in case it's like something that I just can't maintain. So it's not a whole year, but it's six months. I'm gonna use this one as one to write in. I wasn't in, like originally intending to use this one that has the watercolor lines through it as something to write on, but I realized that I made notes for more topics than I have circles for. So this one's just gonna get used. So this one's gonna be for TAing, which is my primary job, but I switch classes that I TA every semester. So I wanted to note that because my contract starts in January. It's a weird word when you look at it and it's not even a word because it's supposed to be like teaching assistanting, I guess. Um, but this semester I'm actually TAing for a class that I've TAed before and that is design history. So it's the history of design, whether that be like advertisement or industrial design, all sorts of design. So I'm gonna put that in here. This other bigger circle is gonna be celebrating. And I'm gonna do lettering up this direction as well. I was originally like, oh, I don't wanna do it there because this one's also that same area but I think it's just gonna be the best fit for this circle. And I know I'm not alone in this. I am celebrating the end of 2020. So happy to be done with that. Like, you know, flipping to January doesn't automatically change anything, but it can change a mindset and I'm happy about that. And I think improvements are gonna be coming in 2020 and hopefully, sometime around the end of 2020, my, sorry, sometime around the end of 2021, my life will kind of return to normal again. And I'll get to go to classes in person and I'll get to see my friends and maybe I'll get to go to like bars and restaurants again, or like see my extended family for holidays. So hopefully by the end of 2021, I can celebrate all of those things. But for now we are just celebrating the end of 2020. I'm just now realizing that I said I was gonna use this Tombow brush pen in this video. I'm not gonna use that. It's, it's just a little too bold for the amount of space that I have in these circles. If I was trying to fill in bigger areas, I would definitely be using this because it's a thicker marker, but I think the like paper mat, but I think the paper mate flare pen is doing a good enough job. So in this final circle, let me just check my notes. Oh, final circle is for watching. So I'm gonna write that along the bottom. I don't know if it's cheating to have two different things under watching, but the first half of the month I was watching one thing and then I started watching a different thing. And I guess there's a third thing in there too. Okay, so I'll just break this down for you. So I started the month watching Criminal Minds because when I was home with my parents for like the holidays, they've been watching Criminal Minds and I was kind of hooked on it. Went back to my boyfriend's place and then I started binging it alone while I was like working on planners late at night. Soon realized that was a terrible mistake because it gave me the worst nightmares. Like I can't like deal with any of the true crime kind of things. It just does a lot for me unless someone else is there watching it with me. Like I'm fine with documentaries and stuff, but I couldn't stay up at night watching Criminal Minds. Otherwise I would just like have the worst nightmares. Then mid month, The Bachelor started airing, which, you know, I love all of my crappy reality TV. This season, you know, I have mixed feelings. I love Matt as a lead and I'm very happy that he's the lead 
but I think they just did him so dirty on the casting. Like, in most seasons, like, obviously there's drama, and it's manufactured drama, and they're paying people to make drama, and you know what's going to be there as, as a viewer. That's part of the appeal to the show, is that, you know, there's some, some things about it that are fake. But this, this season, they just kind of dropped the whole facade of, like, pretending that nothing was fake, and it's just all fake. And this is me talking about Victoria, who, you know, the internet seems to think that she's a paid actress to, like, be there and stir up drama, which, you know, that's a believable theory because she is an awful contestant and obviously is only being kept around for ratings, to stir up drama, to, like, make headlines. She's not in it for the real deal, and I think they're just really screwing over Matt for, like, that whole drama aspect. They're just searching for ratings after having them kind of drop after this whole quarantine thing. And I'm just not having it, you know? Like, it needs to be believable in some ways. I'm still watching it. Like, I'm one of those people that if I start a movie, no matter how bad it is, I will finish it unless it's like so bad I want to pull all my hair out. So I, I kind of have to finish The Bachelor. Um, so that's one of the things I'm watching. And then the third thing that I watched in January was Bridgerton. And everyone has seen Bridgerton at this point. I loved it. Can't wait for season two to come out. I even got some stickers for Bridgerton, which I'm going to be doing a plan with me. I think it's going to air tomorrow in my journal using Bridgerton stickers that came from Eau Claire's Creations. So stay tuned for that one. But I just love it. The costuming was great. And it was just a nice distraction from life, I guess. So I'm going to eliminate Criminal Minds altogether because I've just kind of stopped watching that. And I'm going to write The Bachelor and Bridgerton. Okay, so that fit perfectly in there. And at that point, or sorry, at this point, my January currently page is done. I didn't choose to include birthdays on it this month around because, you know, they're duplicated in the monthly spread. I don't really see a point in having them on here unless there's like a specific section marked out for birthdays, which next month, or the plan with me is already up, so you already know this. I'm going back to the wild styled currently pages because that kind of worked out in the Franken planning. I had to go with, well at first I was going with the garden florals currently page and then I covered it up with this loose leaf but I was using it because it's on the back of this calendar and I wanted to keep the calendar in the planner. So a lot of reasons why I didn't use those, but I'm back to the more neutral currently pages next month. And those have a section for birthdays. So February's currently page has birthdays, but January just isn't going to have birthdays, which fine by me. And with that, we're done. So. Let me know what your responses to these categories would be down in the comments. And also, if you have any suggestions for what my categories should be for the February Currently page, you can either comment them down below on this video or on the February plan with me. I always love having them and giving shout outs, so it's nice to be able to think about some topics that other people suggest rather than just kind of coming up with them myself, knowing very well what the answers are going to be. like. I don't know, I'm like, I want to include something about like Bridgerton in this spread, so I'm going to obviously make the category heading watching. But when you pick the categories, then I don't have to think about them ahead of time and I can kind of like be more candid, I guess. So let me know in the comments those things. Look forward to a giveaway coming soon. I am so thankful for hitting 500 subscribers. I cannot express how much that means to me. This is like... I don't know, YouTube is has its rewards, but it also has its negatives. Like, you get the down votes and the, like, anxiety of people not liking your videos. And it's a, it's a, it's a time commitment. So I'm really thankful for all of you who take the time to watch my videos and interact with my content. And I really appreciate you and look forward to getting to know you more in 2021, especially as I interact through my social media channels and engage with my word of the year, which is authenticity. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel. And if you subscribe, you're eligible to enter that giveaway that I'll be hosting soon. 
follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans, where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thank you and happy planning.